guys, so I am back on here, and I know I was supposed to kind of go over a messy bun, but I decided against it only because I, got, I found two products. They're inexpensive products. They're drugstore products um, that I started to kind of use, and um, I know one of them is something that I wasn't really using prior because of the whole me wearing a mask, but... I kind of decided, you know what, I, I'm i going to go ahead and try anyways because there are times when I'm working and when I'm working from home and we do, we're do we doing like video, um, video meetings, video like either parent meetings or I'm doing lessons, counseling lessons online with my students and so having kind of like a fresh look and how I would normally look because uh, some of these students already had me for already for two three years already going on three years already so I want them to see me as normal as possible and um, as how they used to see me when we were actually face to face so with that I decided to kind of because I do do those kind of videos and I do do those lessons and stuff and meetings online uh, virtually I decided that you know what what the hey let me go ahead and just try it out so one of the pro so one of the products that I was saying that I was using it's a drugstore product and it is cover girl BB cream and it's tinted moisturizer plus sunscreen so the SPF is 21 so it's still considered low but it's better than nothing um, it's the number for this the shade is 810 which is between light to medium and I think it's, you know, for me, for the, I've been wearing it for maybe about a week already. Um, and it works pretty well, I would have to say. It's very light. It's not, you know, it's BB cream, so it's not going to be full coverage or anything like that. Um, it's not going to be like a regular foundation or anything like that. It is a whole lot. I would say it's a little bit thinner than the Bye Bye Redness It Cream that I would use. Um, and, but it's still a good, like, backup product if you're not having, if you don't have the It, it the It, the, the Bye Bye Redness Cream, um, at handy for you if you don't have it with you or you're waiting for it to come in the mail and you really need some sort of, uh, cover for your face, face, but you don't want to do, um, you don't want to do, like, any thick, um, thick full face. Um, then this, I think this is a really good um, product. Again, it's, I got it at Kmart. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Walmart, um, Target, there, you know, all the other places that sell um, drugstore products. So, so we're going to use this today. And then the other product that I like to use as well, that I started to use, because I don't have that much eyeshadow, like, um, you know, as I, how with makeup, you know, it, it does have an expiration date, right? There's a certain time frame when, um, uh, makeup is okay for you, is good for you to use. And then when it's like, okay, it's, you've had it way too long. Um, and I, you know, and I, I didn't really know about that until I started watching a lot of, uh, YouTube videos from all these different, um, beauty gurus and stuff. So, um, that's a really good, helpful tip. I mean, tip. Because again, you know what, there are some people that use makeup when they first got it back when they were like, you know, f you know, when they started using makeup, you know, because it's still there, you know, it's not all gone, so might as well keep on using it. Well, um, yeah, that's not good. So, you know, what I do is I do look, I look through all my old makeup products and, you know, if I'm not using it and I've had it for a while, I trash it. Um, so I went ahead and I wanted to get like another set of like a, like a, a little, um, eyeshadow palette. And so I got a tiny one from, um, e.l.f. Um, and this is with really nice rose color, like, um, colors. Um, there's some there, there's three here that are really glittery looking. And then there's one that's just like a, just like a matte kind of, almost like a matte color. Yeah, it's pretty much of a matte color. And I have not used this one yet. Um, again, um, I, I was drawn to the, the rose colors. And this, the brown one, is really nice. It's really pretty. 
Um, however, I just haven't used it yet. I haven't found the reason to use it just yet. Um, and this is, the color of this one is Bite Size Eyeshadow. Well, that's the whole, the whole thing. It's called Bite Size uh, Rose Water. So I thought that was really cute and I just had to get it. I really, and I don't have these colors. I actually don't. Um, the colors are the ones that I have on the um, Cali Chick. So and those are like more golds and um, browns and glitter, um, glitter. So um, it's just, I don't, you know, I don't have these colors. So I, I used to have these colors, but again, happened, I trashed them. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna be using. I already did my eyebrows already, as you can see. Um, that's, you know, not a new product that I use. It's the only thing that um, I started using again is the It Brow um, that finally came in. Um, but as for the other stuff, I'm still using the same thing. I'm going to be still using the um, bronzer, but this time I'm going to actually use it as a bronzer, my uh, Benefit one. And then I'm still using my um, same ma mascara, the icing one. I'm still using that. So right now, the, this video is just basically showing these new products that I've been using. So without further ado, let's go for it. All right, so I'm gonna first, of course, use the BB cream um, because I like to use this as like my base for everything. And I even put it over my eyeshadow on my eyelids as well. So I just put like three little dots like here. And then I put, I use my little uh, e.l.f. Kabuki brush. So I just kind of pat it like this a little bit so I have a little product on it and then I just kind of ever so slightly just kind of brush it over. So this here, again, as you can see, it's not like, if you look closely at it, I mean, yes, you see the coverage a little bit, but it's not like full, full coverage. So again, if this is something that, you know, if you want like full coverage, then this is definitely not like the stuff for you per se because um, you know, it's, it's what, what it does is just kind of gives you like a little tint and kind of like, um, kind of evens out your skin tones on your face. So, you know, again, you're going to still see a little pink, like if your face like, like mine has like a little pink, you're still going to see a little bit of it, but it doesn't show as much. And, you know, especially here living on Guam, I don't, I have now gotten to the point where I don't like to wear a lot. If I am going to wear anything on my face I rather um, not for it not to be that that thick only because number one it's hot here um, it's very 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 humid here so like less is better really when you're when you're wearing, when you're wearing makeup here unless you have to do some sort of like I guess show or or some sort of a you know big huge party that you have to go to and you're gonna be mostly inside not outside then I would say, yeah, that's fine. Full coverage is fine. Um, but wearing it on a day-to-day -day basis, eh, I don't think it's really that important. So again, I'm gonna put another coat on another three dots here. And then I have there. So again, I don't wanna put a whole lot because I don't wanna waste. So I just put a little bit and then just work my way up. And then again, it's very important to put some on your neck because if you don't put anything on your neck and you just do your face, you're gonna see that discolored there. So make sure that you do it on your neck as well. And get your chin going. And so as you can see, you know, again, it's a nice, really thin layer. It's not really too It's not too crazy, it's not too thick. And that's what I like. I like having makeup where I, it looks like it's completely natural on me. I really like that natural look. I don't like the, like, oh my God, girl, you got, you got cake on your face. You know, I just don't, I don't like that look on me per se. I don't like it heavy, um, you know, cause my skin is sensitive. So because my skin is sensitive, I have to be very careful what kind of products I use especially with drugstore products, I have to be careful. So CoverGirl has always been really good for me. Even e.l.f. has been really good for me. So this is what it kind of looks after the two, like the, the six dots that I, I squirted out of my hand. Um, and, you know, I feel pretty, you know, it's, it's still, you know, like it's, 
Again, it's not full coverage, okay? But it has that nice, you know, it does have that nice, um, you know, that nice light coverage. And it has kind of almost like a little dewy look to it, I guess. Um, you know, and I really like it. I really like it. It looks good with, um, you know, just it looks really nice with my skin tone. And you got to make sure whatever color you pick, it goes really well with your skin tone. Um, and so for me, I like the light to medium only because uh, if I wear, you know, if I wear the exact same color as my face, the, my skin tone, what happens is it makes me look a whole lot whiter. So I don't go full on, you know, I don't go full on like full like fair fair because if I do, it's going to make me even look super white. And again, my skin's not all like super white either. So there is some uh, medium tones in there too. So making sure that you get the right particular um, color for the BB cream is really important. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my um, Hoola uh, Benefit bronzer. And then again, I'll just do this. You know, and then really try to blend it as best as you can. And then, you know, um, and I only do like one little like dab and that's it. And there you go. So that's pretty much what I did. It kind of gives like a little bit of um, dimension, not too much. Again, I know there's some people that go really go into it. I don't as much as you can see it just a, like a little shadow. That's okay for me. Um, now, if I, if I wanted to go more darker, I could, but I choose not to. Um, again, sometimes with BB cream and um, even with the, like any kind of cream based um, like coverage, whether sometimes it, it could be very tricky with with the um, bronzer, especially with powder bronzer, bronzer um, you know, it can be, sometimes it will mix really well and sometimes it won't. So it just really depends, really. It really, really, really depends. And so luckily, I've been very lucky that it works pretty well. So I would have to say this is the the type of cream that this is, is almost the same as the It, it the, the, I keep on saying It, it sorry, the It Bye Bye Redness Cream. Um, it kind of has it again the big difference so that I can definitely tell you is the it cream is a lot It has a more it has like a more pigmentation to it than this does um, And so it's just like what's your more preference if for me like I'm fine with using this um, For me, I'm fine with using this especially, you know, we can't especially what with the it cream here I have to order it so sometimes I have to wait for it so sometimes it's like if I really need some sort of coverage then I need to find like a, a, a alternative um, product all right so now it's time for the eyeshadow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first put this um, the matte color almost kind of like a purplish gray oh, I wouldn't really say purplish but like a I don't know, is it mauve? I don't know. But it's that nice, like, you know, good base color. And when you put it on, you think it'll be really thick, but really it's not. So if you just look here, I'm just putting one here and it's, I'm just kind of spreading it over. Again, I'm using my e.l.f. blending brush again. Again, like I said, I am not, when I'm wearing eyeshadow, I love to, I love the blends. I'm not really too keen on um, line, lines and all that stuff with my eyeshadow. I love how it just kind of melts in, so to speak. So I just kind of go over. And then, you know, um, then I kind of look. I'm looking here and I'm seeing that I could put maybe one more sweep there. As you can see right there, see? So how I do it is just I go one, two, and then, and 
and there you go. All right, now then my next color that I'm going to do will be the darker um, pink rose color. Um, and I just kind of do two little dabs like I did with the other ones, the other glitter ones. And I just kind of like put it here. Just put it right on the lid. I don't, I don't smear it all the way on the top, just on the lid area. Okay, then one, two. And then I just kind of do that again. Put on the lids, as you can see, that's what it looks like right now. And then my last color, which I normally always, as you can see, it's like a running theme here with my eyeshadow as of, as of now. I'll do a brighter color, I'll do a lighter color of, of glitter as well. So I'm gonna use this lighter one right here. So again, one, two, and then I just kind of put it on top. And then there you go. That's one, and then do it again. One, two. And as you can see right there, so. All right, so again, that is it. That's all I do with this eye uh, with this makeup. I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get off camera and do finish my lashes. You've seen that before, so we're not gonna redo that again. And then I'll show you like the final product, or the final look of everything. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my final look. Um, I did add some lip gloss. Uh, I did my soft lips uh, chapstick first, and then I just put a little, little bit of the Lorac. I think this is how you say it, Lorac. Um, Los Angeles, it's all Alter Ego Lip Gloss. The color is, pastry chef and it does have like a it does have like a pastry it does have like a, a bakery smell to it uh, when you put it on um, so that's just you know I, I normally don't wear again if I do wear any um, uh, lip gloss it's normally just chapstick I like to use this the most this is so simple um, but if I do want to be a little extra, then I'll wear some different types of lip gloss. And that's just one of them I just picked out. Um, so anyways, this is what it kind of looks like. So this is the, how my eyeshadow is with the mascara. And then this is my, you know, my, the, of course, the, the uh, BB cream. You know, and I think, you know, with, you know, I was pretty impressed with how well it kind of blends really well with, my uh, uh, Benefit um, bronzer. I think it goes pretty well with that. So I think in my uh, opinion that this that this BB cream is pretty good, especially if you're not, if you're like me, where you're not wanting too much of a heavy um, coverage or thick coverage on your face. Um, especially if you live in like hot places, I know definitely doesn't, down in the southern states, it can get very hot. I used to live in Florida. Florida can get, whoo, a scorcher. Um, so it's, you know, it's a really good, you know, it's a, I mean, even if even if it's in the winter, you could still wear it too. Um, but I'm just saying it can work with any type of weather, um, I think. And that's, that's for me, like I wanna make sure where I'm at, where I live, I can wear it and I can wear it really nicely. And I can wear it and it's not gonna be too much for me. I have been out in the sun with this on and sometimes, yes, you can feel the product on, on your face a little bit. I think that's just with any kind of makeup really. Um, but I don't feel overly hot or overly like ugh, with it on. So it's nice and, and the bottom line is as long as you don't put too much on, you know, then you're not gonna really feel it. And I only put no more than three little dots um, that, I, that I squeeze out. And that's it. And that's throughout my whole face, including my neck area. So really, that's really not that much. Um, I mean, if you want to do more, you could do more if you want. Because I think you, you, I don't know if you can, uh, I've never really tried it where you can build it and build it and build it and see if it just kind of goes away, uh, how it, like really makes it more of a full face uh, coverage. I haven't really tried that. Again, I'm not, 
that's something that if you guys want me to try out, we can. Uh, but that's just normally not me. So, um, but yeah, so I do like it. I do, and I do like the eyeshadow. It's very nice and simple. Um, it's not too crazy, not too, you know, it's a, it's a good everyday wear. I mean, I think if you wore the darker color, the dark brown one, it'd be really good for a really nice smoky, smoky pink, rosy eye, I guess you can say, for those like at nighttime events, which here in Guam, we're not really having because of COVID. So unless you want to have a romantic dinner outside, outside in your patio with your hubby or with your sweetheart, maybe, but you know, really it's, you know, um, you know, it, it can, it, it's really, it's a really nice everyday look. So, um, but anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, I have found a different way of wearing uh, my hair uh, with, I mean, my hair extensions uh, to be more specific. And um, I think I might go ahead and do a video of that also. Um, I will do the messy bun um, videos shortly. Again, I think it hasn't been too long ago since I've done one, so that's why I'm kind of putting that video kind of on the back burner. But um, I really wanted to come on here and just show you the products that I kind of recently bought and I really like, I really like using them and they're really, um, you know, they're, you know, they're very, um, very, very everyday wear makeup. So it's not like for only special occasions. So anyways, that is it. This is the ending product of my face, of course. Um, if I want to be a little bit more dolled up, I would definitely have my hair kind of like in a certain certain style. But I just wanted to show you my face for today. And uh, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, what other videos that you would like me to post, like whether it might be makeup or hair or whatnot, um, please let me know. All right. See you guys. Bye.